What is it? Nothing. I'm free. I remember thinking when I saw Robert De Niro and Al Pacino at the Oscars that year presenting an award together, and I thought, maybe in 10 years I'll get to work on a movie like that if I'm lucky. And then three months later or whatever, I was on it, and I, I was so anxiety-ridden. I sat there for the first day, literally, my heart was pounding so hard in my chest, I couldn't even work. I thought I was going to hyperventilate and pass out. You know, but then I started to do the, do the job, and, and uh, you, know, you get into it and lose yourself in the footage, but it was terrifying. I gotta take care of something. Is there time? There's time. That was the big moment, obviously, where he's, he just can't stop. He can't help himself. And that's what Michael and we tried to do in all the films. And to look for those moments that feel so real that you feel like you're watching a real event. You're watching, you're trans, sort of, trans, I mean, Michael would describe it as transcending film. And as you're watching reality and finding those moments and building scenes around them. Why don't we just talk about this a bit, huh, brother? The thing that Michael does, he's like a scientist, you know, he has to look at everything from every possible point of view and angle and try every possibility, and, and that translates into a million hours and the many, many 24-hour days on heat. You know, there'll be seven takes of, a, of an angle, and... and He'll say, great, good, you know, he'll say a lot of comments and you have to sort of figure out what he means, you know, because it's, if you did everything he said in the notes, it would be, you know, unintelligible. So the scenes would be unintelligible. And then he does the same thing with the cut footage. Uh, he'll give you notes. And so there'll be, I'm talking five, six binders of notes on cut footage at the end of a movie that are all five inches thick. Um, so you'll have a great screening and then there'll be 20 pages of notes and then they have another screening and there's 20 pages of notes. And I mean, they're right up to the end. There's never, the notes never get less. LAPD, don't move. Put your hands on your head now. That's a certain tactic, the way he backed up, backed the guy up into a corner where he could feel that the guy had sort of run out of room and they couldn't back up anymore. And that's when he turned and attacked him. And it's just, it's a, it's a specific way of disarming someone that everything that, they've done it they do in this movie is so carefully choreographed to be as real as possible the biggest challenge was when de niro spots the car and sees there's something you know, not right with a girl sitting in a car and then when you know the, the the moment where de niro has to leave and realizes that you know being who he is and not, not being able to change kind of you know ruin the rest of his life if you get those moments right all that hopefully seems good here but it, you know it's and seems simple but getting those moments to play to play well was incredibly complicated and took a lot of different, you know, you know, experimentation. Actually, after I cut this sequence, I cut it and then Michael gave me some notes and I recut it and, and I showed it to him again and then he, he, at the end of it, he just, all he did was, he banged his hand on the table and said, that's just what I want and he walked out of the room. And I was just like, wow, that's great. And then I didn't see him for like four days. So I thought, oh, I guess I'm done. I, I didn't know what I thought. I wasn't even sure I was supposed to come in anymore. <laughs> uh, but I was coming. I just came in and sat in my room and kind of ran the scene over and looked at some other scenes. And I didn't know what to do. So I finally like, arranged to bump into him in the hallway. And I said, hey, and he went, how are you doing? And I said, is there anything else you want me to do? He goes, oh, yeah, yeah. And, and he just had he just forgotten I was there, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> But then he gave me, and eventually I inherited a lot of the film, but it was a very strange beginning. <laughs>